PFG TV. How you doing out there? You all doing good today? I don't, uh, for those that are missing things, I don't trust this backdrop. Ever since the day it fell forward and almost killed me and this entire show. So, uh, welcome to Scorch's PFG TV, my friends. The whole PFG TV network. Oh, that's nice. You'll all get your 25 cents for that clap uh, at the end of the show. That's nice. You all know Nick Carpinelli. Give it up for the man on the couch. It's funny, every single day I drive by a couch that's on the side of the road. And I'm like, maybe I should grab that for Nick for the segment. Maybe. So one of these days you're going to get a beat-up old couch, and we're going to send you on the road. To There's one here we could use, as a matter of fact. It's funny, Charlie Sherman's wife uh, actually asked if we lice all the couch down because she's like, she's, like, she's like, Charlie, honey, you can sit on the couch, but you're not coming back into my bed with that she's ass. She's got a point because there are several stains. But that can be... Oh, that, gosh, which, uh, that comedian has not come back on the show, though. I'm not sure that's the problem. Uh, give it up for DJ Adam Furious. <laughs> oh, my God. And how's Furious doing? Y'all doing good? Look at you. You're looking nice today, huh? Yeah, well, thank you. You found a shirt that fit you? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's about time. You're going to start wearing a shirt and tie now? Is it like you're getting hoity-toity on Listen, us? no, no, no. We're not going that far yet. For now, let's do our segment we call Weird News. Some are odd and some deranged, stories that are very strange. Weird News. Uh, Elizabethtown, Tennessee, police arrested a 24-year-old mother after she was seen forcing her 5-year-old son once again to smoke a cigarette. Yeah, can you see that? That's the kid right behind me there. She's been uh, charged with uh, child abuse and neglect, disorderly conduct, and possession of marijuana. How dare her? Uh, by the way, this is great. The reason that she had the boy smoke the cigarette, she was afraid that someone put poison in it, and she just wanted to make sure before she smoked it herself. You are an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> There's such a thing as a mother. Chicky, you are a mother, you know. Auckland, New Zealand, 32-year-old Jason da Daniel Brownlee enjoying a bacon and egg breakfast pie. Which actually, I don't eat bacon anymore, but when I did, that probably sounds pretty good. It's probably like a quiche, I would imagine, right? To, no. <laughs> to make up the pie, I would imagine, yeah, just bacon. What bacon, kind of a pie is that? Bacon, egg, breakfast pie, it's probably a quiche. That's probably what they call it in Auckland, New Zealand. He was at the Fraser Town Tavern. He started to gag. Uh, his friends that were all partying really heavy that night, they thought it was just, they had to like throw up from eating the thing, you know. So they brought him outside and they put him on a bench. Uh, they came out later on and it turns out that the guy didn't have to puke at all. He was actually choking on his own food and he choked to death and died. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You got the, yeah, there he is right there. That's good. Uh, and finally, remember when you were a kid and somebody said, I double dog dare you to do something? Uh, a 21 year old kid in Sydney, Australia, fighting for his life after his friend double dog dared him to close, an eye, uh, close his eyes rather, and eat whatever I'm going to put in your mouth. The 20 year old then chomped down on a live slug which I guess isn't a good thing to do because he's now suffering from this disease called rat lungworm disease, which is a rare form of meningitis, and it usually results in death. So he's got that. Plus, obviously, the idiot is suffering from a really bad case of stupidity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go. That is weird news for today. Oh, 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 now we're coming back. If you remember a few episodes back, I explained, there's no coughing in our studio audience, by the way. Uh, I explained that every tattoo shop that doesn't advertise on this show, if you go to them, you're going to die. Because they, <laughs> they reuse their needles, and they're going to stick a bad needle in your arm, like, like a heroin, and you're going to die. You'll, you'll die just like that. So if you're not advertising on this show, if you don't see them on the show, don't go to them. So not only is Carmen going to help by giving us the pits for the day of the show, 
But Carmen is helping keeping the show on the air by giving us a good chunk of change. So <laughs> unless, of course, the IRS is watching him, in which case Carmen ain't giving us a dime. He doesn't have it. He's broke, 100% broke. His bar doesn't work. Nothing works. He's broke. So there you go. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for being part of the show. We uh, Now, our very first guests of the night, these girls here, everybody was in the green room saying, who's going to punch Scorch's mouth today? Is anybody going <laughs> to give him a fat lip today? Uh, it's all because of the fun we have with these girls. There's nothing like uh, getting beat up by hot chicks. Uh, we'll talk to Charlie Sherman about that. He knows. And she suffers from a very rare blood disorder. It's called PNH. That stands for Proximal Nocturnal Hemoglobinuria. And basically, her body is destroying her own red blood cells. Hold There's on a second. Nick, say that for us. Um, <laughs> no. You can't say, you can't say PNH? <laughs> Go on. Welcome to another fine, fine edition of Scorch's BFG TV, the television show that single-handedly made me a bald man and aged me more than I ever. You know what? When you're a kid and you're pissing the moment your parents and they're like, you're making us older than our times. You know what? This show, which is like my kid, is definitely doing that. So, so I would like to apologize to every parent out there on behalf of their kids. Uh, because now I know what you're feeling like because it's dead. Uh, you, know what I mean? you know what, though? What, Nick? Tell us. <laughs> you complain about being bald. Number one, you shave your head. Number two, uh, you've got enough hair in your jacket right now to construct one okay. hell of a mullet. Now, mind you, I have hair that'll grow. I do shave my head, but this skin beanie right here, <laughs> okay, yeah. my skin beanie will never come in again. So, you know what? I can bitch about being bald, you know. Uh, and now I can break the news. Uh, Scorch's PFG TV, after some, uh, I don't know, year and a half of trying and working out the details and then, uh, you know, going through a bunch of rigmarole, which you'll never hear yeah. me say that again. Buttering, lubing. Spell that, rigmarole. Rigmarole, R-I-G-A, uh, uh, screw you. Okay. Uh, anyhow. Yeah. After Nick, also known as the man on the couch, which yes. we like. Uh, we are still going to be looking for people. If you would like to have Nick uh, do a man on the couch segment at your establishment, uh, email us, Scorch or Nick at pfg-tv.com, and we can hook that up, and we're going to do the man on the couch segment uh, really, really soon. Please include any kind of uh, instruction so we can, like, you know, figure out exactly what's going to happen on the couch. Nah, why? We like to wing things, trust me. <laughs> Uh, but I suppose we should start things off with a segment we call Weird News. Okay, listen to some of these stories. Oh my God. Uh, this sounds like something I would do too, but <laughs> I don't know which one I want to start with. Uh, why don't I start with this story right here, if I can. Phoenix, Arizona, 24-year-old inmate, Clayton Thornburg. Another one of those stupid criminals that just couldn't wait the last six days before he was supposed to be released. Uh. Okay. He broke out of the prison by climbing over five fences. Silly boy! Each one of those fences covered in razor wire. <laughs> the wire cut his clothes off of him, all except his pink underwear. They give you pink outfits at this prison. He had pink underwear on. Sweet. Uh, it sliced over 90% of his body. Wow. Mm -hmm. After being captured by the guards, he went to get medical treatment. Now his original six days he had has turned into five more years for the escaping of the prison charges. Did they stitch him up with the threads from the pink underwear? That would be awesome. <laughs> you know, once a show, Nick says something really funny, and you blew your wad the first five minutes of the show. That's so bad. So the rest of the show, the rest of the show, Lord only knows what's going to happen. It's premature ejoculation. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Out of Dania Beach, Florida, Timothy Jordan, a well-known local bookie, made a bet with his friends. Timothy bet 30 people 50 bucks a piece that he could swim across the canal behind his house. Yeah, where's this going? <laughs> they were all drinking at the time, but that didn't stop him. He stripped down to his boxers. No, they weren't pink. He's not a criminal. He's just a bookie. Uh, he jumped into the water. Halfway across the canal, he started struggling. Yeah, he drowned. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. You can laugh at that. Uh, his friends didn't collect any money, but get this. Some friends, his friends were busted looting his house. <laughs> 
So now he's dead and his friends are all behind bars. I would expect nothing less. I got a pretty nice big screen TV if I die. You know I don't imagine you go get it. I would if it worked. <laughs> if I knew your dog wouldn't bite me. Well, you know. Finally, police in Wichita, Kansas, say they have no clues who stole a little Debbie's truck. <laughs> Somebody that was probably very high at the time, I would say. <laughs> high and desperate. I used to love little Debbie's. No offense, but you ever take a bite of a little Debbie's oatmeal cake and get that, that film on the roof of your mouth that just is, <laughs> oh, God, yeah. that lard film that yeah. you get? Oh, that's awful. No trail of empty boxers. Oh, excuse me, there was a trail of empty boxers and wrappers, but they have no suspects nor do they have any idea how it happened. <laughs> All they know, this is a great case of uh, people having their cake and eating it too. Yeah. And there you go. That, my friends, is this installment of Weird News. So listen to this. On the way on the show, we have a lot of other stuff coming up, including we're going to... It is time for our very first sponsor break. Okay, this time for our sponsor break. Give it up for Teddy J. The official feedatorium of Scorch's PFG TV. Uh, anytime you're ready to get a close-up of this cameraman, I'll be all set with that. Thank you very much. That's really good. I look down. I'm waiting for my close-up. I see Andy like putzing around. I'm like, oh, God. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Uh, I don't really like to mention this guy, but he puts a big chunk of change in every week as well. Uh, give it up for Wayne's Tattoo World. <laughs> I found out tonight that Wayne laughs when people drown. <laughs> I believe it's dumb. If it's a dumb drowning, Wayne will laugh. If something happens accidentally, he's got just as much compassion as the next guy. Uh, and he does really good tattoo work as well. 4324TAT. It's a good thing he wasn't a fan of the letter I. Two people got that. That was good. Three people. I just didn't say anything. Three people got that. We are going to give you our first pub crawl tonight. And then we're coming back and we're going to talk to Sal yeah. Bagwell and the Beauty and Disturbance Orchestra. Live, it is Scorch's PFG TV. We're coming right back. Check it's time out. to sit down. It's time to figure it out. It's time to realize why you're always in doubt. Go! 